let it bang. Stop it, stop it. For this life, I cannot change. Get it in, deep off in the bay. Dip and nips, sweet like candy cane. Stop it, let it bang. Hey, what up boys? Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great day or a great night. So today we're getting into the Dragon Slayer's Crescent Axe and the Bandit Axe. So a lot of people have suggested I do the uh, Dragon Slayer's Crescent Axe and uh, as well as the Bandit Axe. So I'm going to combine both of them in this video, planning on power stancing both of them. From what I heard, they're pretty strong. They're pretty good. Never really actually tried them. So I'm kind of excited to see how it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with a Warrior class because it has a lot of strength initially and then a Bonfire Aesthetic. And let's get right into this. This is the homie for today. Holy fam. All right. The nice thing about both of these weapons is they're pretty early on to acquire. So it's going to be pretty nice to just pick them up and not have to worry about, you know, going a long way to get them. First thing we're going to do is head towards uh, Dragon Rider to pick up the uh, Bandit Axe and No Man's Wharf, as well as a Fragment Patch of Yora, which I need to get the uh, Dragon Slayer's Crescent Axe. But first, with no hesitation, Malin, you got to go, buddy. I need that set, big boy. Yeah, get out of here, buddy. Give me that damn set. I'm going to need that for sure. I can't hold myself, bro. I've been having withdrawal symptoms by keeping him alive, so forget that. Pick up this uh, Titanite shard in this chest above Maulin. I'm feeling devious today. This guy can go as well. Hold up. First, let me get the uh, blue ring to increase my HP. All right, now you can go. What the hell? Zero deaths worldwide? Bitch, I know. I just started this damn video. There you go. Go join Maulin. And give me that ring of steel protection. Hell yeah, that increases my defense, and that ring increases my HP, so we're chilling. All right, and of course, we're cheesing Dragon Rider. Uh, I did them legit the past two videos. I'm not doing it this time. Hell no. Yeah, buddy. Oh, oh, there he goes. Never mind. I got worried for a second. Lysia can go as well. I don't need her. I'm going to need them souls, though. All right, so we'll pick up her key and head towards No Man's Wharf for that bandit axe. Firstly, I'm going to pick up this fragment branch of Yordo so I can head towards Shaded Ruins to pick up the uh, Dragon Slayer's Crescent Axe and then kill this lizard for some Tainite Shards. I'm going to need Tainite Shards and Large Tainite Shards for the uh, Bandit Axe. However, the uh, Dragon Slayer's Crescent Axe requires Twinkling Tainites, so we'll definitely pick those up in the DLC. All right, here we go. So the Bandit Axe is in this chest, and there it is right there. Pretty nice. That's the best part. You can definitely one-shot these dudes. One backstab should do it for these guys. All right, I'll pick up that Large Silver Proud Knight, a Tainite Shard in this chest. Holy, relax. And then a Silver Proud Knight, and that's it. I'm out of here. So now I can head to Shaded Ruins. Now that I have that fragrant branch of yore, I can uh, unpetrify the uh, pyromancy woman. There she is. And of course, say what's up to my homie Bugsy. What up? Yo, he's sprinting. What the hell? Yo, fam, you're good? He's trying to get close to me. You got a secret? Hell no, he's baiting me in so he can breathe his bad breath. Look at him running away in shame. Oh, yeah, he bust. Yo, you gonna pay for that shit, bro? The Bugsy's acting up, bro. You gotta go. <laughs> Where'd he go? All right, I got a silver proud knight right there. Nice. Grab another soul right there. Barrow's lockstone. Right, so right over here on the left side of Shaded Ruins, there is a Twinkling Titanites, two of them, and a large Silver Proud Knight. And this corpse right here, right before Shrine of Winter, there it is, Dragon Slayer's Crescent Axe. It has lightning scaling as it is, which is pretty cool. And we got both of our weapons for the video this early on in the game, which is crazy. Because of what you guys say about these being very strong, then that's pretty busted how you can acquire these so early on in the game. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the RTSR ring. Definitely going to use that later on. In the meantime, just picking up some souls. There's one right there. A soul of a nameless soldier right there. A large soul of a nameless soldier. Go ahead and get that chlorine three ring plus one, of course. It's gonna be very nice when I'm power stancing both of these weapons. Get a soul over here. Hold on, homie, sit down. There it is, soul of a brave warrior. Another soul of a brave warrior. Get these Tainite chunks. Gonna need that, of course. Another soul. Kill this lizard quickly. Come on. One more. Beautiful. Get some uh, chunks, some Tainite shards, and a bolt stone. A soul right there and the last soul in the area. So now we got a bunch that we can pop later on. All right, and down here in, in uh, Bugsy's hideout, there is a Twinkling Titanite right before Ornifex. All right, first things first, I'm going to buy the cat ring. Now I'm going to pop all my souls. So from 13,000 to 66,000, you can get a lot of souls on the way to Shaded Ruins and a few in uh, No Man's Wharf, of course. All right, so I want to level up, but for now, I'm just going to get 18 strength and 12 dexterity to equip the uh, Dragon Slayer's Crescent Axe. All right, let's talk to Malentia, sweetheart, and buy that key. Bright bug, all the life gems, two of these. Get the ring, kill this lizard, get some Tainite shards, and I might as well get this Tainite slab while I'm at it. Boom! Open up this chest, Tainite slab, another Tainite shard. Definitely get the quest line going for the engraved gauntlets. Exhaust his dialogue, so I might as well get this one to plus two. This requires Tainite shards. I'll get this reinforced in the meantime. So if I want a power stance, two of these, I need 18 times 1.5, just 27. 12 times 1.5, which is 18 dexterity. Okay. All right, we'll just do that for now. Hell yeah, I can. Oh, that's a sick combo. 
Oh, I like that. I'll go ahead and buy both of these. All right. Yeah, I'll get like 10 endurance. Nice. I got to head towards the gutter. Yeah, I haven't even gone there yet. So let's go right now. Jump down here. I'll get rid of this lizard. Get some shards. Oh, if I can kill him. Hell yeah, I got his ass. Yeah, one large Titanite shard. I'm going to need that for the bandit axe. There's actually a Twinkling Titanite over here, which is nice. Yeah, I'll pick these up. Smooth and silkies. I can trade that for another Twinkling Titanite. And a Frank Bench of Yore. Titanite chunk. Another Frank Bench of Yore. Nice. We are in Zigata. Get the uh, bonfire for the Ron. Oh, that's one right there. Nice. Oh, another one. Nice. What is that? Large Titanite. Beautiful. And one more hit. Beautiful. Forgotten Key. Soul of a Giant. Ring of Giants, too. Might be nice. Poise with this would be pretty nice against like mobs. Give me a Twinkling Titanite. Raw Stone. Oh, Lord. Come on. Last one. Titanite Slab. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right. Open up this with the Forgotten Key that we got from the Giants. And there's a DLC key to the Sun Ken DLC. And I'll pick up this staff as well in the meantime. Hell yeah. I'm going to get 16 Intelligence and 11 Faith for now. I just need three more and then I can get a Dark Weapon. And then I need five more Attunement to get one slot, of course. So we'll do that for now. This is the only bit of farming I have to do for the video, so I don't mind. I can get all the Twinkling Titanites in the DLC for the uh, Dragon Slayer Crescent Axe uh, just by picking them up and not farming them. There's a chunk. Nice. Hey, hey, hey there's a chunk. Oh, shit. Awestone. Damn, these guys. Wait, these guys drop Awestones? What the hell? Oh, yes, sir. There's that chunk. Did not take too long. Roughly 10 minutes. It's the only farming that I'm going to have to do in this video. So go ahead and get uh, the bandit axe to plus 10. Very nice. Three more faith and five more. I need three more levels. Okay, that's fine. I can get that shit real quick. Farm these guys real quick. They give a lot. Yeah, that's more than enough. Level up attunement. Three more. Just enough. Now we can get dark weapon. Use a pine resin on my right weapon and dark weapon on my left weapon. Go ahead and abandon the covenant before I forget. And then on the way to Captain Falcon. What are you buying? I want that dark weapon, homie. Thank you. Come back anytime. We'll go ahead and attune that dark weapon. Beautiful. Let me rub. You won't get me. Bro, I have so much poise. Oh, I staggered him. Yes, sir. Look at that. 9,000 souls. I love it. All right, now we can buy a shit ton of these. Hell yeah. Here we go, Mullen. I mean, Ron. Let's go. RTSR. Pop that bright bug. Dark weapon. And gold pine resin. And let's go. See the damage. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I miss doing damage against Ron. Oh, baby, look at that. Chop, chop. L2. That's deadly, but it takes so much time. Here we go. Yo, what is that damage? <laughs> oh, I miss physical weapons. I've been doing the bow run and the crossbow run for way too long. Those playthroughs felt like forever, honestly, because of how little the damage output they have. But these two, they pack a punch, baby. So you best believe we're going to be set for the entire game, even against DLC. On to the DLC, we go, pick up some Twinkling Titanites, some Bonfire Aesthetics so we can farm Ron for souls. Even right now, I was going for the Sunny D as soon as I hit him. That's crazy. I'm not even at plus five yet. I have no damage right now. No stats, no rings. All right, pick up three Twinkling Titties right here. Yep, we got four. They all come in packs, you know. It's never just one. It's always like three or four or five. It's actually crazy. That's why I love this DLC. It's actually busted. Really busted for getting really strong early on. It is the easiest DLC to access. You just got to kill Mollen, or you... <laughs> You just got to kill Rotten, and that's one boss, basically, because there's no boss before him. Thanks for the love tap. And there's that Soul of a Great Hero, 20,000 souls. Shoot this contraption. Once again, thank you, boys. I did not know this previously until you guys mentioned it in the comments. And this is the craziest find ever. There it is. Five Twinkling Titanites and three Petrified Dragon Bones. So like I said, these things don't come in packs of one. They come in packs of like three or four or five. Soul of a Hero, 10,000 souls. Three more Twinkling Titties. Some more Boat Stones. Bling. Blau, Flynn's ring. Oh my lord, we can finally use it. 50 extra damage flat. You bet your ass putting that bad boy on. Pick up this Twinkling Titanite real quick. Three of them. Now we're at 15. Pick up that Dragon Stone. Go ahead and pick up the key right here. Excuse you, sir. There it is. Once he spawns, run up to him, hit him once. I'm gonna roll again, hit him again. Rinse and repeat till he's dead. Time loop. Yeah, he's stuck in a loop. Poor dude. There it is, 20,000 souls. Insert that Dragon Stone. 352, 371, 391. Wow, that's really good. Aw, oh, that sucks. Well, there's two right there. And there it is, yeah. Two Twinkling Titanites. The other one had two, this one had two. The other lizards don't have Twinkling Titanites, so don't have to worry about that. Go to the last level, so this one right here. Right before Elena. Jump down here. And there should be three right here. Yeah, there we go. Three Twinkling Titanites. Now we're at 10, and we're not done. Soul of a Brave Warrior. And three more right there. We're at 13. Just need two more, and we can get the second Dragon Slayer's Crescent Axe to plus five. We're going to free up my dude. Yo, is it Bugsy? No way. What are you doing here, homie? This guy migrated. Oh, there's a hippopotamus. Go ahead and take his ass out. 
Oh, look at that damage. Oh, there's another one? Hold up, bro. Bro called backup. Where's my backup at? Yo, Bugsy. Where you at, homie? Bro, the thing is nasty. So there's a pursuer that spawns. Yes, sir. Do some damage. Hell yeah. Broski. There we go. Look at that. Oh, what am I going to do? I wonder. Oh, no. Get your ass out of here, homie. So if you kill him, he gives you a Twinkling Titanite. So there we go. Now we got 14. Should I switch to a shorty? Say less, fam. Let's go. Hop in that bitch. Damn. Hold up, bro. Yo, she kind of fine. Hold up. We got to go back to the homie. I just wanted to see what she would look like. Yeah, looks pretty good. We got 20 more damage on our Dragon Slayer Axe. 14 more damage on our Bandit Axe. Let's do that. Level 83. Lightning Clutch Ring. That's going to increase my damage too. So uh, get two Bonfire Aesthetics and Lightning Clutch Ring. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh yeah, that's beautiful. 30 more damage. Jeez. Pick up two more Bright Bugs right there. Three more Aesthetics right there. There is a Twinkling Titanite after uh, Knock Off Quail Egg. So we'll be able to pick that up so we can reinforce our second Dragon Slayer Crest and Axe of plus five. What up, baby girl? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. And you dead. Chop, chop, baby. Immaculate damage. Yo, let's go. Give me the Avalon. All right, put a Pharaoh's Lockstone into here. And that should open up this door at the bottom. All right, perfect. Now we got 15. So there we go. Pop that aesthetic. What is done cannot be undone. That's how I feel every time I'm done. I mean, what? Yeah, two more Twinkling Titanite. So that respawns. Yo, you good? There it is. The second Dragon Slayer's Axe. Beautiful. We'll keep this in our inventory in case we want to use it. Also, I want to see if it's uh, better with an infusion, so I'm going to check for that later on. We pretty much got the full build. I just need to get Ring of Blades, and that's it. Engraved Gauntlets as well, of course. A nice simple build, which I kind of like after doing a bow run and an avalanche run, which require a lot more time and preparation, whereas this is very, very simple. It's time to cook. All right, let's pop that dark weapon. Gold pine resin. Here we go, big boy. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> just amazing. <laughs> just way too easy. <laughs> that's what I've been waiting to do for a long time. It's been weeks. All right, let's go. Dodge this attack. L1, L1. Oh, half his HP. I don't want to risk it. We'll use one of them. Even one of them is crazy. What the hell is that? That's stupid damage. <laughs> 20 more damage. There we go. Let's go get these bad boys infused. Hopefully get some more damage. Oh man, I can't wait to see it. The Doll Ember. McDonald's stuff. Hook me up, homie. Bless me up. So first of all, the Bandit Axe. Oh, yeah, this thing is crazy with an infusion. That is literally 100 more damage from 446 to 557. Yeah, 100%. Lightning does give it more damage. So we'll definitely put a lightning on that. This is not that much more damage, so I think a Pine Resin would be nice. For those who don't know, Pine Resins add 50 damage flat, so because I can't use a Pine Resin on my left weapon, I can use Dark Weapon to stack it on top of the uh, Lightning Infused Dragon Slayer Axe, and then I can just use a Pine Resin on this to add 50 more damage. It does roughly 80 something more damage than my Infused Dragon Slayer Axe, so the Pandit Axe is crazy. Next up is just getting a Grave Gauntlet, and that's pretty much it. The running attack is amazing, super fast. Not as fast as this guy though. God damn, yo, supersonic speed. Hold up, ruthless aggression. Holy, what's that damage? Oh my lord, half her HP. Jeez, that shit's blessed. All right, get that key so we can go ahead and free up Creighton. I bailed you out. Gonna cost you 20,000 souls, please. All right, Skella boys, let's go. For sure a one-shot, fam. Yeah, I don't even have to L2. It's L1. Get these damn boneless guys first. I don't want to deal with that pinwheel shit. Chop, chop. I love the moveset, honestly. There we get that bonfire aesthetic and I'm out. Beautiful. Oh yeah, absolutely. Dead here? Almost. Jeez. Panicking. Exhaust his dialogue. He's all good to go. He has the Dragon Slayer's Crescent Axe. He does. That's crazy. My guy. Respect. Charlie, go back to Majula. Buy the Bright Bugs. 25. One Endurance. One Adaptability. Yeah. I'm wearing the same shit, bro. No, 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 no. You don't. No, you do not, buddy. All right. You're all alone. L2 this shit. <laughs> Easy as hell. An aesthetic up here. Give me the damn key. Yes, sir. All right, buddy. All right, break this shit open. Bling blau, there it is, engraved gauntlets, hell yeah. Let's pray that we get a lot of critical hits during this. I'm gonna go ahead and farm Ron for a little bit. Try to level up uh, as much faith as possible to get more damage. I got plenty of aesthetics, so why not? L2. Choo, critical two, already? They heard my prayers. Yeah, look at that, that's beautiful. Never really uh, was a fan of axes, but this proves me wrong. Wait until Sunlight Blade and Sacred Oath, oh my lord. And burn another aesthetic. Finish him off here, wonderful. But let me know in the comments if you guys are a big fan of these. I have taken an interest in axes now. Now that I see what it's capable of. L1. He's dead. Should finish him off here. Nice. Alright, I love it. Uh, let's go ahead and pop all these. 1,055,000. So 15 Vigor, 28 Endurance, 13 Attunement, 45 Strength, 8 Adaptability, and 50 Faith. Souls well spent. Big Booty Mythal. Let's go. Here we go. Let me do an L2 attack. Come on. Oh, she better bounce that ass back. No, thank you. Oh, I knocked off her tail. Holy. 
She's doing it again? This girl's freaky. Come here. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, shit. That's a sick combo. Here we go. Should be beautiful. Oh, yeah. Blow up. Here we go. Holy fam. What the hell is that? Heavenly Thunder. Hit him. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Get that Ring of Blaze plus one. Look at that shit, bro. Half his HP? What the hell? Hit him. Oh, baby, that was a critical. There we go. Ring of Blaze plus one. Seven more damage on my uh, Bandit Axe. Twelve more damage on my Dragon Slayer's Axe. All right, let's do this. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby, beautiful. I was going crazy. Look at them biceps. It's always so fun to deal a lot of damage against him. Definitely one of my favorite bosses in this game. By the Bright Bugs. Charcoal Pine Resin. Let's see this. L1. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> L2. No, you don't. Keep that mouth closed. All right, there we go. By the bright bugs. All right, we got RTSR, bright bug. Oh, almost. Damn, that's close. Oh, even that's good. Yeah, that's just too easy, regardless. I love it. Should be super simple. Oh, was a critical two? No one shot? Oh, it's all good. Well, that's just too easy. The moveset is super fast and like efficient. Like, look at this. Oh, almost a two hit. Look at that, yeah. That is so much damage. Either one of these is really good, yo. Alright, we'll pick up that Bright Bug. Very nice. We got straight, all good to go. Once we get Sacred Oath, definitely pick that bad boy up. Add even more damage to our kit. What's up, buddy? Let's go. Holy fam, what is this? Goddamn exceeded the limit. Say it less, shorty. Oh, that hurt. 100%. Oh, baby. Here we go. Holy fam. I love it. R2. Bosiklaat, that was way too fast. There's all the Great Lord bosses. Yo, this thing is actually so much fun. I don't know how to describe it. Like, honestly, I was not expecting it to be this good. We'll get more attunement, of course. Get that ready. There we got 16. Nice. All right, time for some side bosses. I got the Dragon Slayer Axe on me. This should be an absolute crisp breezy. Here we go. Yeah, beautiful, bro. Holy, have his HP. Easy enough. Mr. Flexile. Yeah, let me flex that real quick. See ya, buddy. What the hell's you doing? Yo, are you good, fam? Hell yeah, brother. He's bugged out today. Look at this shit. Bro's tweaking. Bro took some molly or some shit. I don't know. Chop, chop, buddy. I'm in a rad horse. Oh, yeah, baby. Chop, chop, baby. I'm the executioners. Chop, chop. Where's our homie at? He's chasing us. Hey, body boy, go suck. Yeah. Mother. Bro, relax. You know what I'm gonna do? Change your life. This guy, bro. All right, then. Oh, yeah, bust that shit down. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Almost a one shot. Oh, Lord have mercy. It's all good. Counter hits critical. Holy. Oh, I love this so much. One more time for the one time. L2. Chop, chop. Let's go. I can only buy two, but I'll buy the third one later on. All right, now that I'm here, I want to pick up the uh, Sunlight Blade. Open up the chest. Bling blau, Sunlight Blade. Hell yeah. So we'll put that on after Demon of Song. Because Demon of Song is weaker to Dark, we'll keep Dark Weapon on for him. And then uh, once we head towards Velstat, definitely put on Sunlight Blade. Because Velstat is weaker to Lightning. I'm gonna whoop. There it is. Oh yeah, belly flop that shit. YMCA, baby. Let's go. Chop, chop. Half his HP. Here we go. Yeah, you dead, homie. No, no, no. Bro, I hit his chin. Here we go. Chop, chop. Boom. Beautiful. All right, let me buy that final bright bug. Wonderful. Big boy Velstad. Pop that sunlight blade. Nah, 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 nah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Critical. That was a huge chunk. Bro, what is that damage? Nah, this is nasty, bro. This is actually... You guys got to try this shit. Look at that, bro. Look how fast that was. I've been underappreciating Axis this whole time. There's the King's Ring. All right, there it is. Beautiful. There are two more slots for that, so we'll get that in a bit for sure. Definitely going to farm Ron for it real quick. And you dead here, buddy. Bling blau, baby. Round two. New game plus seven, by the way. Holy fam. That's crazy. Round three, baby. Yeah, you dead, homie. Oh, no, not yet. Oh, shit. Mon's back. Get out of here, homie. That should be 360,000. No, <laughs> my math, bro. I was so confident. It was, there's 60,000 each. I thought there were 120,000 each. There we are. 25 attunement and 54 faith for max duration on Sunlight Blade. We'll get more endurance, vigor, and adaptability. Yeah, looks good. Level 179. Now with Sacred Oath, let's see. 
546 to 586. The Bandit Axe went up by like 20 or something. The uh, Dragon Slayer Axe went up by like 40. That's crazy. I'm at 521 uninfused. Like I mentioned earlier, a Pine Resin increases it by 50. This with the Pine Resin will be 571. 571 plus Sacred Oath, which would be 571. It went up by 50 right now. That's crazy. We'd be at 621. We'd be higher than our Bandit Axe. So yeah, it is actually better to just put a Pine Resin on the uh, Dragon Slayer Axe. He sells an unlimited amount. We'll just buy 16 of them. Hell yeah. Sunlight Blade, Sacred Oath, Bright Bug, Gold Pine Resin. We is ready. Here we go, Chief. What? Hello? Hello? L2 again? Oh my god, that's stupid. He's dead. <laughs> I don't have to edit that. That's one raw clip of me annihilating him. There's nothing to edit there. No wonder. Goddamn Dragon Slayer, that's why. Alright, we got Ancient Dragon. Let's aggro him. Right, come on, buddy. RTS Army. Okay, or just kill me. Pussy clot. Here we go. Beautiful, fam. Chop, chop. Let's go. Oh, I love you. Oh, baby. There it is. There is a bossy claw damage. Russ. You is dead. Look at that damage. Phenomenal. RTSR, worth it. Let's do this. Oh, I hate that attack. What? How about L2? Oh, shit. That is way too much damage. Nah, bro. That is not legal. That is criminal. Yo, the cops are at my door. I'm about to get arrested. I would never have expected this shit to do that much damage. That's insane. It is time for Dark Lurker. Y'all see her? She's over there. Should be crazy. Yep. I'll trade that shit any day. Look at this. It's actually stupid. I'm gonna kill her before she clones Jesus. Oh. It's actually... <laughs> you good? No way. We broke the game again. Oh my god. What is this? Yo, you're good? <laughs> we broke a uh, Smelter Demon in the uh, the Sacred Time Hammer video. And now we broke Dark Lurker. Bro, she got four arms. Holy, you can give me double the work. I mean, I guess I killed her way too fast when she uh, cloned Jitsu. It, can I hit her? I can't even hit her. I can get critical hits. Holy fam. Test on me. Oh, what the hell? No way, she has an HP bar? What is going on? <laughs> I killed her to kill her. Bro, what? Have you guys ever seen some shit like that before? I've never seen that before, personally. I don't know about you guys, but let me know in the comments if you guys have seen that before. Here we go. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. It's hard to hit him, Loki. I gotta, like, not lock on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's a big chunk against Vendrick. Holy. Be humble, bro. Bro, he's dead. That's crazy. This thing is so much fun. I am glad I decided to do this. Was that a critical or no? Like, what was that? That was way too much. Yeah, he's dead already. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Couldn't have asked for a better fight. All right. The critical two. Holy. Curses upon you, bro. Oh, Cyclot. Almost two combos. <laughs> She's dead. Close attack, close attack. Let's go. Close attack. I can hit him right now. Here we go, baby. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. A quarter of his HP. Again? Let's go. Ain't no way. Oh, my God. Almost. He hasn't even teleported yet. Oh, he's teleporting. Oh, man. We almost had him. But now he's dead now. Boom, boom, boom. Not a single boss that we had trouble with. Some crazy damage all around. Base game, destroyed. You guys saw the footage. The moveset's amazing. The damage is super, super good. Super, super high. A lot better than I expected. I came into this thinking it was going to be pretty, like, average. Uh, This is definitely above good. If I were to put it, like, on a tier list with S tier being the highest, I think I'd put it, like, A+. Plus. Or like S minus. There's no flaws. It barely requires any endurance, even when power stancing. The damage is there for sure. I mean, like we just did a tremendous amount of damage against all the bosses. Sometimes it's hard to hit them when you L2 or, or L1 during the power stance. Like the hitbox might be a little bit annoying, but uh, it's not that bad. You just have to get really close to them and, you know, be smart with your uh, timing. I'm speaking in regards of both of the weapons, the Dragon Slayer Axe and the Bandit Axe. Like they're both really good on their own. And it's time to go to the DLC and see how it performs against the big boys. But I have no doubt in my mind that it will uh, do more than enough damage, maybe even do some crazy damage. So, but before we go to the DLC, let's go ahead and take out the dual pursuers. Definitely kill them this time and uh, get the Ring of Blades plus two for more damage. And then burn an aesthetic. A lot of you guys mentioned in the comments that you guys said that you can parry one pursuer and walk out the door and then he'll despawn. But the other one that you parried won't despawn. So you can take on one pursuer at a time, which is a pretty crazy strat. I never would have figured it out. Thank you boys for letting me know. That's pretty crazy. That definitely would come in use for like a bow runner or an avalanche run. Not gonna need to do it for this. Yeah, that's some crazy damage. All right, buddy. Yes, sir. All right, buddy, buddy. What am I doing? 
Oh, perfect. Let's kill him. One more hit. I'll take that. Nice. With physical weapons, so much easier. So that cheese strat you guys were mentioning in the comments, definitely do that if you're doing an Avalon run. This guy's going crazy. We got his ass first try. Yeah, I know. I was ready for this shit. From 594 to 602 on my Bandit Axe. And from 521 to 536 on my uh, Dragon Slayer Axe. Let's go, big boy. Oh, here we go. Perfect. L2. Up the ass. Giant Tiger, let's go. He dead? He's dead. DLC is going to be a breeze. Boom, jigga, boom, jigga, boom, jigga. Boom. Two for one, baby. Let's go. What's up, homie? Gang bang. I really can't bring that ass here, boy. Come on, homie. Holy damage. Holy fam. Yo, we're giving this guy a beating. Buffing up? Are oh, you dead. <laughs> Look at that shit. <laughs> Good work, homies. There it is. Crown of the Ivory King. Ready? What was that damage? Get out of here, son. Yeah, you dead, buddy. Hell out my face. Come on, buddy. Hell out my face. And then chop, chop. Boom, boom. That bitch singing too much. Here we go. Chop, chop. What's that looking like? A whole quarter of her HP? No way, fam. Look at that. Yo, she's dead, fam. Yo, she didn't have a second to breathe. The outside didn't have a second to live. Breathe fire. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I need it to be longer. Oh, and everything wears off, of course. If I had Sunlight Blade active and my Gold Pine Resin, he would have for sure been dead, but whatever. All right, buddy. Watch this. Boom. <laughs> Here we go. Crown of the Sun Ken King. And all the bosses in this DLC. I'm gonna go to Fume Knight DLC. Yeah, man. Let's go. Holy. Yeah, you're not ready. You're not ready for this. Let's go, big boy. Give me some critical hits. Come on. Critical hits. Oh, that's a big chunk still. Yeah, man. Critical. He's dead here? <laughs> that's so dumb. Making blue smelter demon look like red smelter demon. You ready, boys? I already know we're gonna do some crazy damage. I already know. Come on, baby. Huh, quarter of his HP. Yes, sir. Critical. I love you. Felt good. And you're dead. Oh, not quite. Now you are. You almost got me. And there it is. Crown of the old Iron King. All three crowns. All that is left, as you boys know, sir alone. Samurai Fighter versus Dragon Slayer. Oh, it's going to be beautiful damage. Yes. Beautiful damage. I don't even want to go for Sepku. I want to go for damage. I could do two combos at once. L2. Yeah. Can't really hit it, but I'm going to try. I'm going to do L1 and L2 if I can. I doubt it, but... Oh, there it is. Huge chunk. If he doesn't move, I hit it. But if he moves, most likely he does move. That's the problem. All right, buddy. That was way too quick. And boom, boom, boom. Oh, running attack. <laughs> From the back. Let's go. There we go. Sir alone. Easy as hell. Like I said earlier, no doubt in my mind that I was going to do a lot of damage against these DLC bosses. That was actually a lot more fun than I expected. A lot stronger than I expected. And I'm not even exaggerating. I had no expectations uh, going into this. Thank you, boys, for suggesting these, honestly. For weapons that you can literally get in the beginning of the game, that's actually crazy. It was nice to go back to a simple build and just do a lot of damage. That's really kind of my play style. All right, let's wrap it up. So we got two of them in case I wanted the power sense. But once I realized that the bandit axe does more damage with an infusion, I uh, use that instead. Uh, Dragon Chime just for Sacred Oath and Sunlight Blade. As you can put Sunlight Blade on my left weapon and I can use a Pine Resin on my right weapon. As for rings, as usual, Corn 3 Ring plus 1 for stamina recovery. Pretty nice for a power sense build. Flint's Ring for more damage. That is an extra 50 more damage. Uh, Lightning Clutch Ring for more damage and Ring of Blades plus 2 for more damage. Yeah, my axe is at 536. If we take all of these off, watch. 406. We get literally 130 more damage from these three rings, which is absolutely nuts. Rings are broken. Dude. It doesn't require any stats to equip them. Nothing. You just have to acquire them and that's it. Once you get them, you're set. And then we had a little bit of drip. Not too crazy. Grave Gauntlets, of course, though. Holy, we got plenty of critical hits. They were blessed. Uh, as for our stats, level 206, not too high. But the main things were having enough strength and dex to power stance. Honestly, there's a lot of faith because this weapon this scales beautifully uh, with faith as it already has lightning damage. Nothing too crazy. I got two very special videos uh, coming up at 20k. We're hitting 20k pretty close. And I just want to say thank you, boys. Honestly, it means the world to me. It's crazy how we're almost at 20k already. And I'm just baffled. And I can't thank you guys enough. Honestly, I'm very grateful. And I appreciate you guys joining me on this journey uh, up until now. Honestly, it means a lot to me. So I'll try to get those 
video is done. If I skip a week, it's my fault because I'm working on those two videos. I was going to do the special videos this week. I was going to work on them this week, but I decided to do a build. Yeah, I was initially going to do those videos first before I did this build. I figured it would be pretty easy for me to do this build because, you know, it was a very easy setup. I started this on Wednesday and today's Thursday. Yeah, I beat it. In, I started yesterday. That's crazy. That's how strong this build was. It's so easy. Like, that's how efficient it is. Stay tuned for those special videos, boys. And once again, thank you, boys. We're almost at 20K and I appreciate it. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the love. And yeah, boys, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one. All right. All right. Take it easy, boys.